What is up everybody? Welcome back to the channel boys. I've got a lot of stuff I need to get done on several different cars uh, Especially four to eight, which as you can see is buried um, I've got an update on the coyote swap three valve. I want to do for you, but as you can see All this stuff. I know that's not a big deal for you northern guys, but for us down south We've been pretty well crippled All right guys, but never fear we got some epic stuff for you today. Let's get inside, see what's popping off. Whew. All right, guys, so here's the, the situation. You saw in the last video doing a lot of uh, work on Boomer's interior. And uh, a lot of that that, uh, that has to be done involves dyeing your interior and if you look at this dash this is his original dash and uh as you can see it's black now you couldn't get black in 89 well it's because it's dyed so um for as long as cars have been made people have been dyeing interior panels even the factory uh dyed interior panels so that's what we're doing today not just for uh boomer's car but project four to eight also so let's get cracking. All right, guys, and these are actually the original uh, armrests that came out of Project 4 to 8, and as you can see, they're blue. Everything else is black, you can't have that. Um, but overall, they're in great shape. I mean, I got a few scuffs and stuff, but nothing you're gonna, you know, nothing that you're gonna see whenever we get them dyed. Uh, even the switch panels are in pretty good shape. Um, where you do run into an issue is typically your armrests here are out of misshapen and everything else like that. Uh, but we're gonna go ahead and buy those from LNR. I think we've actually got, Boomer's got his already. He's you, got new ones. you can buy the armrest part from LMR. You just can't get this part. So that leaves us in a situation where we have to die. And it's not really hard. It's all in the prep and using a quality project product like Sim for everything. Yeah, there's the spray right there. And again, prep everything, clean it up real good, wax and grease remover, all that. You'll have a nice product that will uh, last you forever. All right, boys, so the first thing I'm gonna do is break them down and get them essentially, which I'll go ahead and show you now. Uh, we've already got these broken down. These are the ones we've gotta die today uh, for Boomer's car. As you can see, they're all broke down, armrest and all that off, and the switch panels. I've just got to do this same thing to this and, and you see the, uh, well, <laughs> um, basically you just got screws right here holding the armrest on. So that's super simple to take out. And then of course, you know, the switch panels are no trouble at all to take out. So get them stripped down bare and then we can start prepping. All right guys, so I'll go ahead and kind of show you what you're going to be dealing with on a typically well-worn door panel. You see how the plastic's all cracked. And of course, all the vinyl and everything's all discolored and disfigured and all that. But these are the new ones from LMR. And yes, guys, I'm gonna order these for Project 4 to 8. But again, you can kind of see now why you would wanna swap them. Even if this plastic wasn't broke, I mean, you still got the, uh, the foam is broke down and coming apart, all that. So unless yours are in really nice shape, typically they're going to look like this. So again, I'll just pick these up from LMR. Perfect addition. All right, guys. So we're getting in kind of deep here. But if you look, you do have this little chrome trim piece. And this one's not in the greatest shape, but it's not something you're normally going to see. But it's something that's going to be missing if you don't put it in. All this is, you can see right there. And then right there, you just got two staples holding that in. So that's super easy to pop out. Just take the staples out and um, once you get everything dyed, you can just put that back in and they'll look factory. All right guys, so here's the deal. I've got all the armrests completely broken down and now it's time for prep. This is the SEM 38353. Guys, LMR actually have an entire kit for doing this. Um, which I'll put right here on the screen, but, um, basically going to do wax and grease remover, going to do two steps. And I've also got a, uh, I'll link it, uh, right here. 
but uh, also have an article on my website written by my good friend Bob Goodson for uh, for dyeing plastics, and he's he's extremely knowledgeable. Uh, he's actually got a website or a YouTube channel called Purist Motorsports. So uh, stop by and check him out. But uh, again, the whole key to this is prep. You prep it right, get everything clean, dry, all of that, and then you can go to town spraying. And his technique is start with a light coat, kind of look like salt and pepper, let that dry, and then go back and then kind of fill it in. So that's what we're going to do. And again, I know everybody's seen, you know, the, the interior where it's chipped off and, and all of that. The reason that happens is because of prep. So we're going to do our best to make sure this is prepped 100%. And then we should never have any issues with chipping or flaking or anything like that. All right, guys, so that's just the first run right there. And you can see I've folded this rag multiple times. This was brand new, clean rag. You can see all the crap that came out of these. And these didn't look that bad. But, I mean, look at that. So that's pass number one. I'm probably going to do a good at least three more. At least three more and then let dry before I even think about spraying it. But. That's just part of it, so I'm gonna get after it. All right, guys, so we're kind of, we're on step three as far as just cleaning it. And this time I used a microfiber. You can see it got, still getting more out. Um, but also using gloves because I'm getting close to that final cleaning time. And I don't want my fingers to reintroduce grease to the armrest. But you can also touch this area up here to hold it still and stuff like that. Hold it on the like hold it on the back side if you want to. Main thing is anything that you're spraying, you're basically uh, screwing yourself by taking your hands and touching it after you've waxed and degreased it. But yeah, guys, we're getting close. Um, another thing you can do, put these in a big sink with some Dawn and just clean the snot out of them with that as well and a toothbrush. There's, there's several different ways to skin a cat. The main thing is your technique as far as your prep, make sure it's prepped 100% and then your technique as far as spraying and they'll be good to go. So I'm going to continue to degrease. All right guys, so I have gone over these probably a good five times just because I want them to look good. Uh, now I'm gonna let them dry for as long as they need to dry. I'm also, I've gotta find all these plugs, make sure uh, I dye those black too, but I'm gonna let these dry for a good little bit. I wanna make sure it's, and, and this stuff is fast drying, so it's not gonna take long. Um, but then, as soon as I feel like they're pretty dry, which they're probably dry enough right now, I'm just being a little overly cautious. Uh, then we're gonna start laying some uh, some dye down. Here's another thing, guys. You want the the vinyl or the, the the plastic or the vinyl to be as warm as possible. That opens up the pores um, of the material and lets more of the uh, lets more of the dye in there. I may actually get the heat gun out and get this stuff, you know, fairly warm. Just to open those pores up, and let it let it really sink in because I want this stuff to last and look as good as it possibly can.
Okay, so real quick, this one's, these are pretty well done, not completely dry, but you can see up next to the new LMR uh, armrest. Freaking great. Freaking great. They're still a little more shiny than they're gonna be just because they're not 100% dry, but I already put these doors together. So these are for Boomer's car over here, and then uh, these are four to eights right here. Okay, guys, I mean, they look brand freaking new. So if you hate the color of your interior, or and maybe it's discolored or whatever, this is a really good option. Again, hit up LMR, get you some Sim. Uh, this is satin black. The number's kind of rub, kind of rubbed off, but uh, LMR's got an entire kit to do this. And then, of course, I did the console plugs, and then armrest plugs they're all dry already just make sure you prep make sure it's not too cold or too hot See, get the uh chrome strip in and then of course i mean this looks brand freaking new it really does that armrest just it matches freaking perfect i absolutely love it you see the finish, guys. It, it that sim lays down really good. Again, it's the it's the prep. Make sure it's nice and warm. So that vinyl or plastic, whatever you want to call it, sucks that dye in. Man, that laid down good. All right, guys. So I actually did forget one step. We got to put the switch panel back in. But we we're looking at the uh, Boomer switch panel. And again, LMR's got these. They're they're cheap. I'm gonna go ahead and put these in just for the sake of putting it on the car so you can kind of get an idea how how nice these came out. But uh, Boomer, I'm sure you're watching this. Go ahead and order some new plates. All right, guys, I gotta say, we don't have the plugs in. That looks great. Everything matches up great. Yes, I know we gotta get the plate. But I mean, <laughs> you can't beat that. door panel done all right so making some serious progress here got both of the door panels all put together still got a little gap up here not really sure why but i, mean, I don't have anything stock to compare it to so it may be like that from the factory but i mean you look guys overall that's a heck of a difference I mean, that's a perfect, like, restoration for what was very bad, you know, pretty worn out gray door panels. Now you got brand new black. You can't hardly beat that. I put them in my door. Oh, yeah. Me too. They're better than my door panels. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I got four to eight sitting over here. Guys, I don't have the, uh, the armrest and all that for four to eight. Um, I've got those coming, but I mean, you can see how nice that came out. I'm very, very impressed. And you know what? We're not a pro. We're just doing it here in the in the shop. So, you know what? It ain't gotta be perfect, but that looks great. I'm very happy with how these came out. I'm gonna put the, uh, I'm gonna order new switch plates, guys. I've got the switches right here and uh, you can see they're pretty worn out. So I'm gonna go ahead and order new switch plates for four to eight. Actually, that one's not bad at all, but um, then we'll be able to put the door panels together. And then I'm all, I was also missing the console plugs. So there's those. And I'm gonna order, we are missing some of the armrest plugs, but overall guys, I'm, I'm super happy with it. This is something you can do in your garage, in your driveway in an afternoon and totally make your interior look new. It's freaking amazing. All right, boys, so that's pretty much gonna wrap up what I've got for you today. Um, like I said, I've got a lot of stuff coming for you, but the weather has pretty much uh, pretty much halted everything. We don't do well with snow down here in the south, but uh, got a lot of stuff coming for you, so let's keep it tuned right here for that. Um, got a lot of parts on the way for four to eight, uh, for the Bimini car, uh, a lot of cars. So just keep it tuned here for that, and uh, 
yeah, I guess that's going to be it. So if you enjoyed this video, <clears throat> big thumbs up. Make sure you smash that subscribe button. Don't forget, guys, Ford Takeover, May 7th, May 8th, two full days. Uh, details on thefoxcast.com. I'll see you there later.